Show 5 is a nice little echo for a bedside clock or on a desk, but they've never really sounded that great and the screen's kind of small for any media. So when Amazon announced the updated Echo Show 5, I really wasn't expecting much out of it. There is a new speaker configuration and Amazon says twice the bass. Uh, yeah, you could say that. But after listening to this, I was really surprised how much better it sounds. I did a comparison between the dot and the pop, and we'll listen to that in a moment. So let's talk about what's new with this, do the sound comparisons, and I'll give some recommendations at the end. This video is not sponsored. I did pre-order and buy this myself. And the only other person that's seen this before you guys is Blake who edits this video. The updated Echo Show 5 third generation is still 89 99. You can see next to the previous version that the screen's rounded off. If you look at it, the device is smaller, but the screen is the same 5.5 inch screen. It's just the corners are cut off. I'll say right off the bat, it definitely is a better looking screen. Colors look more vibrant. Amazon says they've improved the screen for better nighttime viewing. It does do better in a darker room than the previous version. It doesn't seem as washed out or as bright when it goes into that nighttime mode. It's a nice little step up. The new Echo third generation does have an infinity glass screen. It just looks like the glass goes all the way to the edge. You do have a new shape to it. It's a little less squared off and more rounded. That's to accommodate the backfiring speaker. It also has a look more in line with the Echo Dot fifth generation. The buttons look similar and you got the all fabric design there versus the plastic around the edges. The updated Echo still has the same two megapixel camera from the previous version. You can use that to communicate with family over video calls, and you can use it to check in on your house when you're away. On the back, you'll see there is no micro USB on the new one, and I've never used that, so I understand why Amazon may cut it. New this year is a stand for the Echo Show 5 that has a USB on it. You can charge devices on off the same power that you're using for your Echo. If you'd like to check out these Echoes or the new Echo Pop, I'll put links down in the description. I'll also put a link to my video on the Pop, along with a card at the end that you could click on when you finish this video. Before we get into the sound of this, if you're someone who's trying to figure out why you should go with the Echo Show 5 over an Echo Dot, really, I highly recommend going with an Echo Show if you can. It just adds a lot more value when you get the visual side. That way you can see your calendars, you can see the weather report. If you ask a question, you can see the response there. So I, I usually recommend going with the show. Now, if you were to ask me what Echo you should go with for listening to music or watching stuff, I would have said any Echo but the Echo Show 5. But I had, I gotta reconsider that now because of the updates they did to the sound. Previous generations of the Echo 5 have never been great for music. There's no low end. The sound bounces off the surface. It's just not the right way to do it. So when Amazon said that this had twice the bass, I was definitely scared. Skeptical. The speaker is 1.7 inches. This is a 1.65 inch speaker, so it's not much bigger. It's still just a single speaker. Um, so, again, kind of skeptical on it, but after listening, the bass is definitely stepped up. Even though the speaker is not that much bigger, it's that uh, top back firing design that makes all the difference there. Before we do this sound test, I try to capture the audio as accurately as possible, but I can only do so much with the microphones and stuff I have. So what you hear might not be the same as me, and uh, really it's just meant to give you kind of a reference point if you have any of these echoes. I say that, and like my last video, there'll be somebody who goes, you're wrong, it doesn't sound that way. I'll be like, you're wrong. Buy it using my links, in the description and you will see for yourself. So let's first listen to the updated Echo next to the previous generation. When 
when you listen to these two side by side, uh, you really hear their difference. With the Echo Show 5 second generation, that sound is coming out the bottom and bouncing off, and that's just not the best way to hear it. What I was really surprised about was how good this sounded with the speaker coming out the back there. It actually sounded uh, like the sound was coming from the front. If you want to get a little fuller sound out of this, I found when it's in a corner, the sound kind of bounces off the walls and just fills the space better. Now, this is the demo that I was really surprised about when I compared the five to the pop and the dot. I see a sky with a rain in car, but I'm running. I see a train running all too fast, but I'm not. Love is in the air tonight. I am yours, so hold me tight. Love is in the air. The 5 definitely sounds way better than the Pop. And if you're not familiar with the Echo Pop, I did make a video on this that I'll put down in the description and at the end of this one, so make sure to check that out. This is a nice sounding device too. Not quite a dot, but still sounds good. After that sound comparison with next to the dot, I was really surprised how good this sounds. They sound almost the same. I now want to go get two more of these so I can rip it open and find out or someone else hopefully can do that. During my testing, I turned around the Echo Dot so its speaker was facing backwards and it sounded almost the same there. You got me feeling like a firebolt Hot in the sky Looking like a thunderstorm Now, if you own both of these devices, please leave a comment letting us know what you think of the sound. It definitely helps others when you share your experience on this stuff. Another update is an additional microphone to help pick up requests better. I did find that if I whispered to it and was a little further away, uh, that this one did respond a little bit better. Now, let's talk about performance and the new software that's on this. From a performance standpoint, not a huge difference. Uh, this does have the AZ2 processor, which is supposed to give you a 20% speed increase. I do notice that things do open up a little quicker uh, when it comes to it, things going to the cloud, that's what, where it slows it down and you really don't notice much of a difference. But when you're navigating through menus, that's where I see a little bit of the speed increase. Still not great for touch. It needs to really still be sped up for a touch interface. But the biggest difference I'm noticing is the new software on this. This has, the software says Echo Ship 1.1. This isn't using the same software as the previous five, the Echo Show 8, 10, or 15. Those are all using a Fire OS. So this may give us an indication of where the rest of the Echoes are going. You go into settings and you see all the same choices, but it just looks a little different. Things open a little quicker. If you go and you launch into the video side instead of just text menus or blocks of thumbnails. It now has more a Fire TV-like interface. So throughout this, you're gonna see little subtle changes on it. Like other Echo devices, you can do all the same stuff with a line. You can pair it up with your favorite streaming service. You can control your smart home, make requests. You could use this in photo frame mode to show off your photos. You're not going to notice much of a difference between these two or an Echo Dot or Pop. Um, when it goes to the cloud and comes back, that's the biggest delay. I really wish Amazon would speed up the touch interface and uh, change up some of the smart home controls so that you can access stuff quicker. Now, recommendations. Like I've said before, I like the Echo show five as a bedside clock or on a desk but never for listening to music now that's all changed i would definitely recommend this if the budget supports it over a dot you will have nearly the same sound out of this but you have that screen there which adds a ton of value in my opinion i think the sound is nice and clean out of this and such a big improvement it fills the space nicely i will say that both the echo dot and the echo show five uh, really really sound good to about 60, 70% volume. Beyond that, I feel like there's just not enough low end to support it. So it's a little ear piercing, I think, beyond that. Overall, I think it's a nice improvement. Uh, from a speed standpoint, it's a little quicker, uh, not a huge difference. I think that's an area that Amazon has just been lacking in for so long. It's nice to see a little bit of an update. I do like that they're tweaking the software and changing up the menus a little bit. It seems a little more fluid. Still, we could pick up 
up the speed a little more. So don't take your foot off the gas, Amazon. Let's make an AZ3 and let's put more local control for these things because the cloud slows it all down. So I wouldn't necessarily get this just for speed improvement. The screen does look better than the previous version. It's definitely just crisper. Yeah, it doesn't look as washed out. Not that I'm gonna watch a lot of media on this thing, but still like a good looking screen. Having a screen on the Echo does offer a lot of value, but it costs quite a bit more than the Dot or the Pop. So if you wanna save some money, you should definitely check out my video on the Echo Pop. This thing sounds nice. It's cheaper than a Dot, and I'll see you over there. Thanks for watching, bye.